Today, the city of Tulsa is launching a new pilot program. It's called City Hall on the Goal. The, the program is a nationwide model that brings City Hall services to underserved neighborhoods. Joining us now to talk more about that and more is Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum. Good morning, Mayor. Morning. Well, before we get to the program, we want to start with last night's midterms. There were some voting irregularities during yesterday's election here in Tulsa County. Just to explain to people, if you don't know, the Sheriff's Office and Tulsa County Election Board investigating after poll workers failed to hand out ballots for the District 5 City Council race. The Election Board says about 30 voters from each party were affected at a precinct there near 21st and Mingo. Uh, what is your, your reaction to that, Mayor? Well, it seemed like deja vu because the exact same thing happened to me when I was running for mayor in 2016. Uh, we got a call from uh, voters around 9 a.m. Uh, after polls have been open for a couple hours saying that uh, in that case, uh, poll workers were not giving mayoral race ballots to Democrats because they were saying, oh, it's just G.T. Bynum and Dewey Bartlett running against each other in a Republican primary. When we have nonpartisan races in Tulsa, uh, we never did find out how many people were denied the, the right to vote that day. But I just remember how frustrating it is. And I feel for both of these candidates in District 5 because you work so hard to get your message out there to meet people and you're working towards this day where finally you're so exhausted that you just think to yourself, I just want to know what the voters prefer and we'll go with that. And then to have this happen where people were denied the opportunity to vote in that race is incredibly frustrating. So uh, we had two great candidates in that race and they both ran great campaigns. And I, I feel awful for both of them that this is distracted from all the work that both of them put into that campaign. What is your message to Tulsans? I mean, as we move forward, as you mentioned, this has happened before. What What's that going to mean um, for the confidence that we should have? Well, I think this is the challenge uh, of uh, overall, I would say, when you think about election security, our system here in Oklahoma is one of the best in the whole country. Um, and, and this is less an issue of, say, uh, a foreign government or some nefarious conspiracy trying to deny people a vote. And I think it's more about the fact that you have a lot of uh, really basically volunteers who are dedicating their time all over the county to do this work, some of them brand new to it, and it's a really high uh, risk, high profile duty that they have. Uh, I, I, I think that the election board is gonna be evaluating this uh, and looking into it. I don't know where that's gonna go. Um, I'm operating under the premise that Grant Miller won the campaign last night. We've already reached out to congratulate him on that, but we'll wait and see uh, what happens between today and whenever that election is certified. Okay, thank you, Mayor, for those answers. We want to turn our attention now to the City Hall on the Go program. What is this all about? What can people expect today? Well, this is a cool thing that we've been talking about for years. We're actually planning to launch it in 2020 and then the pandemic hit and it prevented us from doing it. But the idea is that there are a lot of folks around the community that would like to access different city services and look into different things, but don't have the time or the wherewithal to come down to City Hall in downtown Tulsa. And so we want to take those services out to neighborhoods around the city and provide that kind of direct localized accessibility. Um, so I, I'm excited. This is a pilot. We'll see how it goes today. Today is our very first one out at Fire Station 17. We'll see how that goes. And if we have a good turnout, then we'll look at doing this in other parts of the city as well. All right, we put that on the screen. It continues until 10 this morning and then three to five this afternoon. Before we wrap up though, Mr. Mayor, I wanna ask, I know Friday is a very big day for our city as we honor our veterans. You had a special event on Monday where you recognize businesses that help the veterans. Uh, we really always have such a wonderful turnout to honor the men and women who've served our country. Oh, I, I think our Veterans Parade every year represents Tulsa at its best. I mean, this is a city that reveres our veterans community. We put on one of the largest, if not the largest, Veterans Day parade in the whole country right here in Tulsa. And I just always love seeing not just the veterans themselves, 
but young Tulsans, school groups, different clubs and organizations all coming out to show how much love and gratitude this community has for our veterans. And I can't wait to be there on Friday. That yeah, parade starts at 11 a.m. They're at 3rd and Boston, 350 vehicles and floats and a lot, a lot, a lot of people always turn out. Mayor G.T. Bynum, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We look forward to talking with you again next month. Thank you.